video I am going to be teaching you how to make this home page more specifically how to make these buttons and get them on your home page so that they can be clickable to different parts of canvas for example on this home page I can hit about the SLP and it's going to bring me to a page that has a meet the SLP flyer now this flyer um, it's just a screenshot of one that I usually hand out at the beginning of the school year. So all I did was I took a screenshot of it and I uploaded it as an image. I also have an embedded link here to a welcome to speech video that I made um, on YouTube. So this is the goal. This is what we're aiming for. So let's get started. So I'm going to take you to a blank canvas page. Now when you first open a canvas page with nothing on it it's going to look pretty sad and it's just going to have a create a new module button which is actually not what we want to do so what we want to do is we want to create a home page so to do that we are going to look over here on the side and we're going to hit pages now a page in canvas is like a website page so Pretty much all of my materials are uploaded um, or linked to different pages. Um, think of it like a website page. When you click on account, it's going to take you to a separate page with all your account information. Whereas a module is what we use when we have a lot of resources that we want in one space. For example, um, you might have like 10 different pages you want to upload pertaining to problem solving. So then you might upload all those pages under modules so that they are um, files. But we're going to focus on pages. So I'm going to hit pages and no new pages yet. So I'm going to go up here and hit the add page button. And this is my home page. So I'm going to type home page and I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want anything here right now. Um, I'm just going to have home page and then hit save and publish. So this is what it looks like when you don't add anything to that text box. Um, now what we want to do when we create a home page first is we are going to hit these three dots and we are going to hit use as front page. So a home page is the first page that your students should see when they log into your Canvas course. So by clicking those three dots and hitting that um, make as home page, but or I'm sorry, make as front page button, the home page will be what your students first see. So I'm going to go home, and I don't see anything here yet. So I'm going to hit publish and I am going to put pages front page as the course homepage. You can see here how homepage is italicized. So when you publish the course, that's when you can have your homepage actually show up as the homepage. This is something you don't want to forget. Um, so make sure that you hit pages front page when you publish your course. So I'll just choose and publish. And now, once I add stuff to my home page and I hit home, all of it will show up right here. So I'm going to go to pages and I am going to go to edit and show you how to get buttons on this page. Okay. So what I have here is a table, and this table has dotted lines, meaning that when it is published, you won't see those lines. It's invisible. So I added this table by going to table, table, and then highlighting three sections. And that brought me to this. To get the dotted lines, or the invisible lines on the outside. I go to table, I hit table properties, 
and I make sure that the border width is zero. That will make sure, or that will ensure that when I publish this course, um, the border of the table is not visible. And let's talk a little bit about why we have this table. This table is going to help our buttons be centered. Okay, they'll be equally spaced apart. So now we need to make buttons. And what we're going to use is we're going to go to Google Drawings. Now this is an example of a button I just made, but I'm going to start from scratch with you. So we're going to go to File, New, Drawing. And I should note that Google Drawings can be accessed from your Google Drive. Okay, so here's my canvas. Now you can make any shape of a button you want. Um, I typically make rectangles, but you can hit shape, shapes, and you can go wild. You can make it a heart shape, you can make it a circle, really anything you want. So I am going to show you how to get it to look like this rectangle. So what you'll want to do is go to File, and you'll go to Page Setup. So it's automatically on this standard um, setting, but we'll go to custom and I'm going to go to a nine by three size for that rectangle and hit apply. So now my page is automatically in a rectangle format. So now from here, I'm going to go to the shape, shapes, and you can choose a more um, pointed edge rectangle or a rounded edge. I'm going to choose the rounded edge and I'm just going to drag it to whatever width or height or whatever, however big you want it. You do you. So now I have this basic rectangle, but I want it to look a little more engaging, a little more fun. Um, I want it to have more depth. So something that I think is super important when creating a homepage is making sure all your buttons have some depth to them. And I'll do that by going to Format format options and then checking the drop shadow box and you see that it creates that shadow behind your button it creates a little bit more dimension okay so now that my rectangle is ready to go I'm going to um, change the color and I'm going to take away this black outline now some people like that some people don't I prefer to not have it so for my border color you could go wild and choose whatever color you want but I'm going to hit transparent so it takes away that black edge now I'm going to click on my button again and that will bring up all those settings up here pertaining to your button and I am going to hit fill color now for my color I want it to be something fun something a little bright um, Let's see, let's try a custom color. Right now I'm on blue, but I feel like I want it to be a little more aqua. So I can drag and I can move around until I find the color I want. And it changes up here. So let's say I want this color. Oh, there we go, a nice bright blue. Nice bright aqua, I should say. Okay. And now all I need to do is add a text over my button. So I'm going to go to insert text box and I will drag my text box. Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to drag my text box. Don't mind me. And try and get it kind of centered over my button. And I will want my text to be a pretty decent size so that it's easy to read. So I'm going to make it 96 and that's going to be nice and big. And then I'll choose my font. I want it to be fun, kind of childish, but also easy to read. One of my favorites is Love You Like a Sister. And I got to that font by hitting more fonts. That brings you to a whole big list of different fonts and love you like a sister is in there so I'm going to hit love you like a sister and I'm going to type 
meet the SLP. Oh my, so that needs to be either a little bit smaller or I need to make my text box bigger. I think 96 was a little, oh, no, there we go. I'll just make sure that I center it. You know it's centered when you have those nice red lines showing up. There we go. And now I don't, I don't know about the black. I think I'm going to try white. So I will highlight my text, click text color, and hit white. Nice. Okay, so now I have my button. So I'm going to type up here, meet the SLP. And I can choose whether to save my button by going to download and hitting PNG. That'll save it like a picture that I upload. Or I can save my button um, by publishing it to the web. Publishing to the web is nice because when you hit publish to the web, it'll give you a link after you hit publish and you will copy and paste that link into your canvas to get your button to appear. Now, that's only really necessary if you feel like you're going to want this to sync with your canvas if you make any changes. So for example, if I go um, back here after adding or embedding my button into canvas and I change the color, it would automatically change on Canvas as well. So you can do whatever you feel is best. But I'm going to teach you how to publish to the web. So I'm going to hit Publish to the web. And then I'm just going to hit Publish. OK. And it gives me that link. So I will copy that link. Um, you can right click and copy on PC or I just hit Command C on my Mac. And then I'm going to go to my home page. And now I want to make sure my cursor is within the box. I want it to be the first button here on the left, so my cursor is right here. And I'm going to hit image, upload image, URL, because I'm copying a link. So I am going to paste that link, make sure embed image is selected, and hit submit. Now you can tell that your button was uploaded by that nice yellow flash and you can see it's huge. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to click your button and it'll display um, this nice blue box around it that you can toggle and you can shrink it to whatever size you prefer. All the buttons I make, I tend to make at a 300 by 100 size. This is important because you want all your buttons to likely be the same size. That's you know, that's just me being a perfectionist, but I like all my buttons the same size. I'm going to center this. That's not necessary, but that's just how I am. So now what we will need to do is we will need to link this button to an actual activity or an actual page. So right now, if I were to hit save and I were to try and click this button, it's going to go nowhere, right? So... What I will want to do is go to Pages. Oh my goodness, I'm so silly. I was in Pages. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to go to View All Pages. I'm going to hit Add Page. Yes. That's just automatically saving. And I'm going to hit Meet the SLP, or rather type that in, because that's going to be the title of my page. Now here is where I would typically um, upload my screenshot of my flyer that I usually use. And I do that by going to the image and then just hitting upload image and following the steps here. But what I'm going to do instead is just leave it. I'll just write, hi, I'm Miranda. And um, leave it as a text. You can really do what Ever you want but the purpose of this video is to show you how to link to a separate page and I'll do this maybe in a different video later on so anyways I'm going to hit save and publish and now my meet the SLP page is created so if I were to go to view all pages we see the home page which is set as my front page and we have the meet the SLP page so when I click on home page it's going to bring me here 
and I want to edit. So now, how on earth do I get the Meet the SLP button to go to the Meet the SLP page? It's actually quite simple. All I'm going to do is click my image of my button. I'm going to hit this little link icon. And I could link it to something external, like a video on YouTube, but I'm going to hit course links since I set up that page. I'm going to go to pages and I'm going to hit meet the SLP. And you see how it flashed yellow? That's how you know your link worked. So now when I save and I hit meet the SLP, it takes me to the meet the SLP page. Nice, right? So now when I go to my home page, we have the meet the SLP button and this <laughs> this should be changed, but it's just practice course. And you can see that you're in your home page. And you can add more buttons here in these spaces, um, just using the same method we did. You can make your table even bigger and add even more buttons if you want it to end up looking like this. Look at all those buttons. <laughs> um, but for now, this is what we've got. So we're going to hit save. And I'll just show you that again. So now here's your, when I go home, here's your home page. You hit meet the SLP and it takes you to the meet the SLP page. Nice, right? I hope that this video was helpful in learning how to make buttons and um, link them on your Canvas page. Bye!